Hello, welcome you all back. So this lecture is all about how to actuate a direction control valve. For any direction control valve, there has to be an actuating mechanism or something has to make the valve to move so that the direction of the fluid changes within the system. So this lecture, we are going to see various types of actuating mechanisms which is involved with the direction control valve. So there are four basic classifications. One is the manual actuation. The second is mechanical actuation. The third is electric actuation. And the fourth is fluidic or fluid or electrofluidic actuation. So we are going to see examples in each and every category what is specified here. Let us start with manual actuation first. The manual actuation is divided into three basic operations. One is lever operated, the second is pedal operated, third is push button operated. So let's see each and every category in detail. The lever operated control valve is something like there's a lever on the end of the valve and somebody has to operate this lever so that the valve shifts. So here is a real life example of such valve. Here is the lever. You can easily find such kind of valves in cranes or uh, even railway gate operators, railway track operators, if it's hydraulic operated. So on upon shift of this lever, the valve position changes and thus the flow of the fluid changes within the system. This is the lever operated actuation system. Next, we move on to the pedal operated type. The pedal operated type is very similar to the one which you can find in your cars or even trucks. As you press the pedal, the control valve is going to get actuated or the valve is going to shift. So, as you can see here in the picture, this is a classic example of an Audi hydraulic drive system. The pedal operated system has a simple pedal which can be pressed by the leg or sometimes hand. It's a classic example can be seen in cars or high-end trucks. That's let's say we can take an example of Audi. So this circuit diagram is taken from the Audi car and as you press the pedal the control valve shifts and the brake is applied. So that's the simple mechanism of a pedal operated valve. Next is push button operated. So here is the real time picture of a push button. We all know that we just have to manually push it. Upon pushing the valve shifts its position and then changes the direction of fluid flow. So the push buttons are usually incorporated with spring at the end so that it returns back after the push has been released manually. Symbolically it is represented like this so that a human finger can depress the valve so that the valve position changes. So these are the basic types of manual actuation. Let's move on to mechanical actuation. The mechanical actuation is usually the combination of all these three. So the basic type being the limit switch operated along with the cam and other mechanical movements like on both ships we have the main engine turning gear which when disengaged and engaged changes the control valve. So any mechanical movement can be transformed to actuate the control valve. Here as the valve spindle slides up and down the cam is attached to the valve spindle. This also moves and this actuates the control valve. Here is the limit switch and the limit switch basically provides remote indication whether the valve is open or closed. As the spindle slides up and down, the control valve uh, with the limit switch moves up and down, thus changes the direction of fluid flow. Here is the other type or variant of a cam operated limit switch based control valve. What you are seeing in this picture is a classical limit switch operated control valve. As you can see here is the roller which moves up and down based on the mechanical movement and then depresses the switch here and this switch is in line with the spindle or the spool which moves and shifts the direction of fluid flow. 
So this is a very classical example with which we can find it in many industries to cut off or cut in a blower, a fan or a pump. So the next one is electrohydraulic actuation. Electrohydraulic actuation is a very modern and recent time usage where it's a combination of compressed air or controlled air, pilot oil or hydraulic oil under pressure, solenoid operation with the spring. So all these things combined together form the electrohydraulic actuation. The next one is an uh, overall view of the actuation systems. Here are the manual and mechanical side. So leave this apart. Here is the hydraulic pilot. Whenever you see this kind of symbol on the valve over here, which means to actuate this valve, you require a lesser hydraulic pressure which comes and pushes the control valve. So hydraulic pilot pressure is required to actuate it. The next one is air pilot which means there's a difference between the air and hydraulic pilot. It's completely shaded and it is transparent. So for this kind of valve you require compressed air pressure to actuate this valve. The next one is solenoid which is electric. So there's going to be an armature here at the end of the valve and the solenoid coils. As the electric supply energizes the coil the armature is going to be pulled up and the valve shifts. So that's the solenoid operated control valve. Mind all the valves are, almost all the valves are spring loaded so that it comes back to the tandem center position. So that's the electrohydraulic actuation overview. Now we have landed up to the end of this lecture and in this lecture we have seen different control valve actuation methods with symbolic representation and actual real life valve images. Meet you all in my next lecture. Thank you.